Hello, Eduardo. Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon. Hey, very good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. You got my message, huh? Huh? You got the message. I, I thought you didn't get like the message and I thought I was going to be alone today with no, with no students. The, the electricity. Yeah, yesterday, um, there, you know, the electricity, let me see. We had electricity until 20 to, 20 to 1. At 20 to 1, the electricity went up. Poop. 20 to 1. 20 to 1 p.m., uh -huh. and then I suppose that 10, it was going 10 to... 10 p.m. Uh, p.m., yeah, yesterday, before the class. Yeah. And then I suppose that it was going to be okay by 1 o'clock, but then nothing. Mm. I, 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 it was until 5 p.m., my mother told me, because then I had to work. It was oh. until 5 p.m. because there was like a kind of reparation for a, a they were, there were some people uh, making some kind of, uh, there are like some big transformadores, right? Okay. And supposedly they said yesterday that there was not mm. going to be electricity, supposedly, yeah. but I didn't hear anything. And it was in all the neighborhood, so I called my boss and it was, it's impossible. That is something yeah. that I cannot, okay, give a solution. But thank God we have Fridays off so we can like, you know, have the class again, okay? Yeah. So how yeah. are you, ready for the weekend? Yeah, I'm ready. Good, any plans for tomorrow and Sunday? <clears throat> tomorrow we'll visit uh, uh, rural, rural areas. Rural area. Rural yeah. areas, uh-huh. Oh, yeah, really, it's, uh, it's, where are you going? Do you know San, uh, San Lorenzo, Atiquisaya? Oh my goodness. Okay, in other department. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, it's around one hour and 30 minutes to, to drive. Uh huh. Okay. Are you going by your car? Okay, or yeah. in, a, in a public transportation? A private, like, you know, no. like a bus? No, it's in my car. In my in car. car. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I, I have a, a truck, it's mm -hmm. a pickup. Okay. And and the people in in this in the in San Lorenzo mm -hmm. use my car to to move it. Uh, ah, the, great! In, mm -hmm. Back in the, in ah, the back. Ah, okay, very good. Are you going there for preaching? Yeah, preaching. Ah, okay. Oh, that's cool. Okay, very nice. But in this this place is uh, uh, is beautiful because they um, uh, I don't know cultivan cocotes. They they plant. They plant uh -huh. jocotes. Oh, like jocote trees. <laughs> yeah. Oh, many, many, jocote many, corona, many. right? Ese es a barón rojo. The name is barón rojo. Oh, yeah, I know. Uh -huh. It's a little it's one different. round. Uh -huh. and, and, oh, wow. and red. <laughs> Very red. red uh -huh. Red. Mm -hmm. Hacen jaleas y, oh, y my God. That's y beautiful. Many, many with, mm -hmm. with That's so cute. Uh -huh. Wow. I, I like, it, it, si no estoy equivocada, creo que jocote se dice mumbing. 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 Ajá, red mumbing. Ah, Ajá, very good. jocote, mumbing, if I'm not wrong. And, and, and uh, Loroco too. Loro oh, it, I love Loroco. Okay. This is, this is, is the place where, where the, the Loroco is like a, a cap, capital. Ajá, okay, yeah, the main, the main product. The main, the main, the product uh -huh. is, in Loroco too. Oh my God, that was good. That was very nice. So you're gonna have a nice weekend. Yeah, it's very nice. I love, I love traveling to these kind of places. You know, okay. okay. I love to to be surrounded, mostly in the, in the in the in the mountains. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hey, we have two new new people here, Claribel and Carlita. Hello, good afternoon. Very nice to have you in my classes. Good afternoon. Hello, Claribel. How are you? Ready. Right, ready to Excellent, very nice. Okay, and what about Carla? How are you, Carla? Is Carlita there? No, right? I, I think she's not here. Oh, yeah. She's hi. Here. Hi, hi, Carlita. How are you? Fine. Ready? Yes. Yeah. Did you eat your lunch? Yes. Yes? Okay. So you are ready now then. Okay. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> Do you usually eat your lunch uh, before the class, Eduardo? No. Uh, no, uh, after. Antes. Uh, before. Before, uh -huh, before yeah, the class. Before, yeah. ah, okay. So you are, you are 
you are very happy now. Hi, yeah. Carlita, <laughs> Carla Yanes. Hello, teacher. Uh, how are you? Good to see you. Good to see you too. I'm sorry, <laughs> yesterday. <laughs> oh, I, teacher, I, no problem. I had the, I had to be you know I was I was here in my house but with no electricity so <laughs> it was boring so, for me it was very boring I couldn't listen to music I couldn't see the social network watch TV nothing because oh, you can, yes. you can do anything with no television right that's it okay pretty good to have you here Carlita well both Carlas right Claribel Eduardo okay um Today we're going to do um, the session, right? We're going to start the section number three and we're going to teach, I'm going to okay. teach the class that was supposed to be for, okay, yesterday's class, right? Today we're going to start, uh, you know, with this, um, this section. This is the section time for, uh, time for a change. This is the name for the section number three. And in this section, we are going to learn today how to use enough in the word uh, okay, two, okay, for giving a little exaggeration, okay, when we describe things. And we're going to focus on a topic based on uh, apartments and houses, okay? Let me ask the first question, okay? Uh, Carlita Yanes, do you live in a house or in an apartment? Where do you, do you live, Carla? Excuse me, excuse me, teacher. Where do you live? In a house or in an apartment? Oh, I live in a house. In a house. Okay, very good. Uh, what about you, Eduardo? Do you live in a house or in an apartment? It's a little house. A I little house, it, but a house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, what about you, Claribel? Do you live in a house or in an apartment? I live in a house. Sure. In a house, too. Very good. And Carla Marroquín, what about you? In a house too. In a house too. Okay, so everybody lives in a house. I live in a house too. Now, the second question. How many of you have lived in an apartment? In the past, okay, for some time, I don't know. Have you ever lived in an apartment? No, never? Never. Never, never. never. Only houses? Never. Okay. Do you have friends who live in an apartment? Do you know some people who live in an apartment? Maybe uh, your relatives, uncles, aunts, cousins, right? Mm, yes, co-workers. Yes, co-workers. Okay. At least, okay, you have someone who lives in an apartment. Because today we're going to describe, you know, um, positive aspects and bad aspects uh, between apartments and houses, okay? We're going to start with the vocabulary, okay, that we are going to use today, Okay. And, and this is the vocabulary <clears throat> that is used to describe houses and apartments, okay? What you are gonna do is to, this, to tell me which um, are the ones that are used with positive meanings and the ones that are negative, okay? For example, here I have a picture and it says bright, iluminado, right? So for me, it's good, right? To have a bright house or a bright apartment this is good. So since it is positive, so you're going to tell me that bright is positive. Then we have a, this is the example that we have here. Then we have comfortable, comfortable, okay? Don't say comfortable or comfortable. No, comfortable, right? Bright, comfortable, convenient, convenient. Try to remember the pronunciation. Then we're going to practice, okay? Cramped, cramped, no cramped, no, cramped, cramped, dark, uh, dangerous, dark, dingy, expensive, huge, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, Safe, shabby, small, spacious, spacious, okay? Spacious, small, <clears throat> shabby, safe, quiet, private. Okay, we're going to practice the vocabulary from 
these adjectives, those are the ones that we have. Obviously, we have more. We have show a small, big, okay, uh, clean, dirty, but those are like um, easy words, right? That I, 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 I suppose you, you know them, right? These are new vocabulary, okay? These are new words related to apartments or houses, okay? We're going to start with the number one, a uh, pronouncing, okay? Pronouncing. Carla Marroquín, number one. Uh, Claribel, number two. Carlita Yanes, number three. Continue with Eduardo, number four. Continue Carla Marroquín, number five, and so on in the same order, okay? Let's start with the number one. Uh, Carla Marroquín, please. Number one is number a, one? It's example or, or the next? Uh, pronounce it. I want to listen to your pronunciation first. Okay. okay. Pronounce Bright. it. Bright. Bright. Ca Claribel, number two. Comfortable. Sorry? Comfortable. No. No, no, no. Listen. Comfortable. 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 Comfort. Ahí va el acento. Comfortable. Okay. Try to make it again. Comfortable. Comfortable. Okay, much better, much better. Okay, uh, Carla Yanes, number three. Convenient. No. Convenient. No, no. listen. Convenient. 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 Okay, ya okay. lo voy a volver a preguntar. Okay, try to remember. Okay, Claribel, two. Comfortable. Convenient. Comfortable. Uh -huh. Convenient. Convenient. Uh -huh. Convenient. Eduardo, number four. Cramped. Cramped. Very good. Carla Marroquín, number five. Dangerous. Dangerous. Claribel, next. Number six. Dark. Dark. Okay. Carlita. Dingy. Uh -huh. Dingy. Uh -huh. Very good. Eduardo. <laughs> Expensive. Expensive. Continue, Eduardo, with the, uh, uh, with the next adjective. Huge. Huge. Very good. Carla Yanes. Vaya, Carlita. Lo puesto le tocó. Uh -huh. uh, inconvenient. No. <laughs> <laughs> ok. ¿Cómo se dice conveniente? Vamos a ver. One volunteer. Conveniente. Convenient. Convenient. Entonces, inconvenient, ajá, inconvenient, ajá, uh -huh, very good, inconvenient, okay, very good, inconvenient, okay, continue, please, Claribel. Modern, modern, Carla Marroquín. Noisy, noisy, Eduardo. Uh, pri private. Ajá, uh -huh, excelente, private. Uh, mucho alumno dice private. But no, private. private, okay, private. <laughs> Carla Yanes, next. Quiet. Quiet. Eh, Claribel. Safe. Safe. Carla Marroquín. Um, Sha. Xavi. Xavi, ajá, uh -huh, very good. Okay, Claribel, once again. Small. Small and Carla Yanes. Now, the Space. last one. Spacious. Spacious, okay. Very, very, very good. Spacious, nice. So, this is what I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to give you right now, okay? In your WhatsApp group, please check in your WhatsApp group. Right now, I am sending you the, 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 the information so you can have it. And what you're going to do in your WhatsApp group is to put the adjectives in categories. Positive or negative meanings, okay? Positive or negative meanings. I'm gonna let you okay. work this alone, okay? I'm not gonna help you. If you need uh, some help, well, you can consult your partner. And the idea is to, to try to, to, to know whether this word is positive or negative. Then we check together. I'm gonna okay. give you five minutes, okay? Let's accept the invitation, please, um, for working in pairs. Let's accept the invitation right now.
ser? Con, es positivo. Conveniente. No, pero, no, ¿qué significa? Conveniente. Ah. O, o bien ubicado. Ah, ok. Sí, positivo. Bien ubicado, conveniente, positivo, ya. Yeah. Crampel. Cramp. Cramp. What is cramp? Es, es, es a, estrecho. Es mm. negativo. Eh, negativo. Yeah. Ya. Yeah. And dangerous, negativo. Negative. Dark, too. Yes. Negativo. Dingy. 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 Dingy es a... Uh, deprimente Depri deprimente es negativo es negativo negativo Positive. Positive. Noisy. Noisy. Who is noisy, Carlita? Excuse me. Yeah. The, uh, the meaning is ruidoso. Oh, oh yes, yes. Uh, noisy. Uh, yes. Do you remember? Uh, noisy. Negative. Noisy. Okay. Or uh, positive. Positive. Quiet. 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 Positive. Safe. Safe is positive. Positive. Chubby. Chubby, the meaning is eh, desgastado o como arruinadito. Oh, okay, entonces negative. negative. Small. Eh, negative. Small negative, yes. Spacious. Eh, positive. positive. Okay. Okay. Finish. 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 Yeah, Okay, very good. We are back. Finish Carlita and Claribel. Yes, teacher. Yes, finish. Okay, very good, very good. Okay. We're gonna wait for um Eduardo and, and Carlac because they are still working, I I suppose. Okay. Okay. Did you get the meanings? Yes. Okay, let's start. Okay, we're gonna start. Carla Yanes, give me the number two, please. Well, we say bright is positive, okay? That's it. A comfortable, okay. what about comfortable for you? Comfortable is positive. It's positive, excellent. Eduardo. Eduardo, number three, please. Co convenient, positive. Uh -huh. Positive, positive, okay, excellent. Uh -huh. It's positive, very good. Next, uh, Carla Marroquín. Cram. Uh -huh. uh, cramped. What do you think? It's positive or negative? I think it's negative. <laughs> yeah, right, okay. Algo angosto, algo estrecho, yeah, right? Uh -huh. Yes, yeah, so it's negative. Uh -huh. For example, a room, your bedroom. Uh, I know, teacher, is very, it's cramped. Okay, I don't know. So it's negative, okay? Uh, what about the other one, Claribel? Uh, dangerous? Dangerous is negative. Negative, uh -huh, very good. Uh, Carlita Yanes? Okay, dark, negative. Negative, <laughs> are you sure? Negative. <laughs> yes, negative. Uh, if you are because sleeping, no. No brick. Yeah. Okay. If you're sleeping, that would be great to be dark, right? Uh huh. But uh, but I suppose that it looks like a little bit like I don't know weird. All the, the room is is dark. All the time dark. All the time dark. No. Uh huh. No. Very good. Next, Eduardo. Dingy. 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 D
PG is negative. Negative, ok, very good. ¿Qué encontramos por dingy? Esa deprimente. Deprimente, ajá, triste, sad, ok, very good. Dingy, very good. Eh, continue, Carla Marroquín, expensive. What do you think? Expensive is negative. Negative, ok, very good. Ok, pero ha oído aquello que es lo barato sale caro. <laughs> it depends, right? Ah, depends, ok. ¿Qué no, nivel? Depends. 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 Uh -huh. For example, if it's a if it's a gift, gift ah, expensive, that would, be, it. that would be good. The good, yeah. Eduardo. Good if you receive it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, but if you give it, uh -huh, because it's uh, expensive, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay, Claribel, huge. Huge is positive. It's positive. Okay, very good. Uh, inconvenient, uh, Carlita. Uh, negative. Negative, okay, very good. Uh, Eduardo, what mother? Is, what is huge? Huge is enormous. Okay, enormous. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mother? Mother is positive. It's positive, of course. Okay. Eh, Carla Marroquín, noisy? Noisy is negative. Is negative, aha. Uh -huh. Noisy neighbors, remember we practice that, okay? Private, eh, Claribel. Private is positive. It's positive. I just remember Eduardo's neighborhood, right? It's private. So I think it's much better right nowadays in El Salvador. Carla Yanes, quiet. What? What do you think? Is it positive or negative? It's, it's positive. It's positive. Quiet. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Quiet. That's it. Safe? Ah, obviously, right? Safe, right. I think, is... Is the best positive. we can have. Uh, it's positive. Shabby. Okay. Claribel, what do you have for Shabby? It's negative, teacher. It's negative. Algo. ¿Qué encontraron por Shabby? Algo. Ya, desgastado, desgastado, arruinado, right? Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Usually the sofas, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. They become Shabby. Okay. If you have children, hmm, it's difficult. Okay. okay, small. What about small apartments or houses? Small. Good or bad? Positive or negative, Carlita Marroquín? It's negative. It's negative. Okay, okay. And there are some people that maybe they have big houses, huge houses, and they prefer to have a small house. And there are people that have a small houses, they want to have big houses. So, it depends, right? <laughs> depends on the kind of person. Spacious. This is like the opposite. Spacious. Eduardo, what do you think in your personal opinion? It's positive. Positive. It's positive. Uh -huh. Very good. Okay. Very nice. So, we learn vocabulary and also pronunciation. Remember, okay. Uh, Carlita, how do you say conveniente? Adios. <laughs> Bye, Claire. <Yeah. laughs> Ajá, conveniente, ajá. Can you please repeat? Convenient. Ajá, very good. En Claribel, confortable. Ay, chicha, I don't remember. Hey, no, Claribel. Comfortable. It's comfortable. Comfortable. Ajá, no, no, bull. Comfortable, no. Comfortable. Comfortable. Ajá, uh -huh, ok, much better. Bueno, si le cuesta, diga así, ve. Comf comfortable. Ok. Uh, there are two the ways. Uh, practice. practice, please. Okay. Si me manda audio, a ver, WhatsApp, para, a ver si se, le salió bien al final, ok? Very okay. good. Comfortable, very good. Comfortable o comfortable, no problem. Ok, nice. Now, we are going to do this part, guys, and I want to share with you what we are going to learn today. Y basado en esto, pues ya empiecen ya el section number three, okay? The use of enough here, okay? And the use of too, okay? Aprendimos la vez pasada too much, too many, pero ahora no me quiero enfocar con too much or many, no. Today, I want to focus on too plus adjective, okay? For example, eh, when you want to say, oh, 
know how much is, for example, que fui a comprarme un uh, choco banano. <laughs> okay, yesterday. Eh, no, no, no. Uh, the day before yesterday, I went to buy a choco banano in a esquimo banana. Le digo a la señora, how much is the esquimo banana? Ah, oh, me dice, it's 75 cents. I said, 75 cents? Wow. Me dice, me dice mi sobrina, it's expensive, tía. Y yo, no, expensive, no. Too expensive. Demasiado caro para un choco banano así chiquitín. So, ese too is when you want to give exaggeration of something. Okay? Demasiado when you want to say something like that. Okay? Too big, too small. For example, a... What size, um, what size is your shoes? Uh, let's see, Eduardo. Uh, eight. Eight, okay. So, when, ah, Eduardo, mire, I went to the United States, Eduardo, and I bought some shoes for you. Hey, teacher, very nice. They are Thank size you. six. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> size too six. Small. Yeah, small. teacher, they are too small for me. For me. O sea, ya se pasa, pues ya ni siquiera le cabe el dedo grande. Ajá, uh -huh. too small for me, ok, that's it. O Carlita Yanes viene un día y le dice, allá cuando tenía unos 20 años, va Carlita, when you were 20 years old, le salió un caballero por ahí y le dice, oh Carlita, I love you, would you like to get married? Oh, how old are you? I am 72. <laughs> y Carlita, 23, right? ¿Cómo era ese señor para usted, Carlita? Yeah. 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 Seven, 72 years old and you were 22 es demasiado viejo ya no viejo sino que demasiado viejo para usted right? so usted dice too old no excuse too old. me but you are too old too for old. me uh -huh, too old that's it too cheap demasiado barato no 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 me va a salir un cell phone me dice, mira, te dan un celular a cinco dólares. Ah, no, no, no. It's too cheap. Ok, maybe. <laughs> Cachada. Maybe. Cachada, yes. And tomorrow is going to be, no, ok. So, when you use too, it's because you want to exaggerate. Es demasiado, ok. Too. But look at this. We use too with adjectives, ok. Too small, too big, big. too important. Too interesting, okay, too expensive, okay, too, um, too serious. Si la gente es demasiada seria, no, se pasa, demasiadas. It's too serious, etc. Okay, so you use these guys with adjectives, okay, too, too small. For example, let's read, Eduardo, read the two examples that I have here, please. The the two examples. Uh -huh. uh, in here, evaluations okay. with adjectives. Okay, apartments are big enough for families. For families. Apartments are too small for pets. Okay, very good. So when you use two, after two you use the auxiliar. Okay, that's it. You, I'm sorry, the auxiliar, the, the adjective. Okay, you use the adjective after two, no before, after two, después de two. Okay, after you use the adjective. Okay, in this case, it's talking about adjectives. Teacher, what about enough? Do you remember enough is suficiente, right? This is enough. I'm gonna share, uh, I'm gonna write uh, an example. Okay. Um, okay, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be here sharing this with enough. We said, guys, that enough in this case is suficiente. This room is big enough for me. Look at this example. I have enough space. Okay, I want to I want to point out something. Big in this case is an adjective. Okay, pay attention to this because this is the 
This is the, 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 the important thing here. Okay, this is the adjective. In this case, in big is the adjective. So when you have to use an adjective with enough, the adjective is first, and then you use the word enough. Este cuarto es lo suficiente, grande. In Spanish, in Español, damos vuelta y decimos enough big. But no, you say it's big enough. Big enough. Okay? Pero cuando es un adjetivo. Look at the second one. I have enough space. ¿Qué tengo ahora después de enough? Ya no hay un adjetivo. Tengo un noun, un nombre. So, esta es la regla que quiero que se tengan en mente ahorita. When you use an adjective, the word enough is after the adjective. When you want to use a noun, the word enough is before the noun. Okay? I have enough. For example, if I want to say, tengo tiempo suficiente. Tiempo, time, is an adjective or it's a noun? What do you think, Carla Yanes? Time, is a noun or is an adjective? A noun. A noun. 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 Okay, very good. So, how would you say, yo tengo tiempo suficiente? O no I tengo. Have a noun. Uh -huh. O no tengo, right? I, let's make it negative. I don't I have... And out time. Exactly. Let's repeat. Enough. Enough. Enough time. I, I don't have enough. I don't have enough time, teacher. Eduardo, enough. how would you say there? No tengo suficiente dinero para comprar un apartamento. For example. I don't have enough money to, to buy an apartment. Exactly. I don't have enough money, okay, to buy an apartment. Very good. That's it. What about Claribel? Uh, when you want to say, for example, um, uh, tengo amor suficiente para todos, mis hijos. Los Hi. hijos. <laughs> the children. The children. <laughs> uh huh. I have, uh -huh. I have enough, enough love, love, uh -huh. for, for all my children. Love, 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 love. No, <laughs> no, 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 I have enough love for all my children, right? That's it. Here, guys, I am using here, I'm using here enough, enough, enough. Because after enough, we have a noun. Time is a noun. Money is a noun. And love is a noun too. Okay? So when you have a noun, you remember enough is before antes. But what about the adjectives? Let's describe the adjectives. Okay, let's describe, the, for example, your houses. Ustedes conocen su casita y me van a decir, oh, teacher, mi, mi sala o mi, mi cuarto es lo suficientemente, eh, ¿qué? Eh, uh, for example, for me, eh, my bedroom, okay, I, I am going to write an example, okay, my bedroom, okay, is, okay, um, let's see, eh, Comfortable, okay, enough. That's it. My bedroom is comfortable enough. O sea, que para mí, mi cuarto es lo suficientemente cómodo. So, no necesito más. Because I feel okay. Okay, that's it. This is the meaning when you want to say that in, in that case, okay. Viene Eduardo, se va a comprar a una tienda y le dicen, mire cuánto vale esta camisa. Ah, le dice, vale 52 dólares. Ah, dice, ay, es suficiente, sí, sí. 
esta usted está consciente que pagando 52 dólares a usted le alcanza. Entonces, como diría ahí, Eduardo. Uh, my, my, uh, what is it? I forget the number. Uh -huh. 52 dollars, uh -huh. de, de, no. de, de, de shirt. My share. Uh -huh. My share. Imagínese que es 52 dólares, 52 dólares y le queda su... Ah, sí, fíjate que no me queda ni tan grande ni tan chiquita. Ajá, so, es large enough, ok, small enough, I don't know. Pero cuando usted dice enough, it's because you feel ok. Está conforme, you feel ok of what you have or what you are going to describe. My shirt, ajá. Uh -huh. My shirt is uh, comfortable enough. Is, uh -huh. is, is comfort, uh -huh. comfortable enough. Comfortable enough. Uh -huh. comfortable For example, enough. que le queda lo suficientemente grande. Así como que, ah, estás... Holgada. Ajá, holgadita. Ajá, is lurch. lurch. In this case, lurch. Ajá, that is the adjective, lurch. Yes, comfortable. Eh, no, only one, only one adjective. Oh. Lurch. Lurch enough. Enough, very good. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hey, my shirt is lurch enough. Ok. Por ejemplo, alguien le puede decir, mire, le queda bien grande la camisa. No, no, pero para mí está buena. Sí, yo, está suficientemente bien por mí, right? So, my shirt is lurch enough. Lo que no okay. quiero que diga es, my shirt is enough lurch. Ok. Because you are using an adjective. And when you are using an adjective, The adjective is before and then enough. Okay, that's it. What about Carla Marroquín? What can you tell me about your kitchen? About what? About your my kitchen. Uh -huh. Your kitchen. kitchen. Uh -huh. Your uh, kitchen okay. in your house. My kitchen mm -hmm. is... Is, is small enough, enough? Okay, small enough. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Es pequeña, pero lo suficientemente para usted, right? Who do you live with? With my mama, only with my mother. My, oh, okay, that's okay. It's small enough. Very good. Okay, so you see here, you are using enough with. A, a, an adjective and the adjective is before when you use a noun the noun is after enough okay that's it then we have this part okay with enough but also we have two okay for example when we say uh, two que dije que era demasiado right plus adjective Okay, two plus adjective. For example, demasiado. For example, Carla Yanes. What do you think about La Costa del Sol right now with a sweater? <laughs> you are in La Costa del Sol wearing a sweater, Carla Yanes. Yeah. Huh. Uh, Hot enough? <laughs> no, right? <laughs> the beach. The beach is two. Uh -huh. Listen, listen. Right now you are in La Costa del Sol and you are wearing a sweater. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, the beach is so two. I feel I feel cool. I I feel I feel too hot. Ajá, uh -huh. very good. That's it. Ay, no, teacher. I feel too hot here. All right. That's it. O sea, ya ni siquiera es hot. Hot todavía es como soportable, pero too hot, no. Unbearable. Something that, uh, no. You need to take a shower or go away, I don't know, etc. Okay, very good. Claribel, that's it. What about uh, your neighborhood? Hello, Claribel, are you there? No, they didn't. No, okay, yes. Eduardo, okay, what about your neighborhood? My neighborhood 
is um, is uh, two is too quiet. Too quiet. Too quiet. Okay, very good. Okay, look at this. Cuando yo ya le pongo el to quiet, dijimos que era positive. Do you remember? Dijeron, ah, que un lugar se ha callado es bueno, es positive. Pero cuando yo ya le pongo el to, estoy haciendo a esto negativo. I'm changing this to negative. Yeah. Uy, qué aburrido. No, es que demasiado solo aquí, ya muy callado. Necesitamos gente que grite, que oiga lambada. La, I don't know, whatever. It's too quiet. Exactly, okay? That's it. This is what I want you to understand. That when you put here to, you are giving an exaggeration, okay? Too quiet, it's too hot, it's too... For example, today here in my town, they are celebrating las fiestas patronales and in the morning at 4 a.m. They start with fireworks and ta 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 Oh no! It's too noisy for me. Ya no mm -hmm. siquiera es noisy, no. It's too noisy. And sometimes they pass by in front of the house. It's too noisy. Okay. Everybody is sleeping. So it's an exaggeration, okay, of something. Okay, one question with this one. Do you have questions, Carlita? Carla Marroquín, Eduardo, Claribel, questions? No. I, no, I don't have. No, no okay, very good. Try to remember this one. We're gonna come back, okay, to the slide that I have, uh, that I share with you, okay. So we continue with the other part. Okay, this is related to, okay, enough and to. Okay, then we have enough with, uh, with nouns, okay, and to, okay, in this case uh, with with nouns that is too much. Lo que no puede decir usted es too money. I have too money. No, ahí sí le agrega el much. Okay, too much money. Okay. <laughs> Tengo demasiado dinero en English, pero no se puede decir too money, too much, okay, or too many. No se les olvide eso, okay? With nouns, you cannot say too, too, too money, too, too, too full, no. Too much or too many. With noun, with adjectives, yes, too big, too small, too expensive, too cheap, etc., etc., okay? Uh, then we go with comparisons. Carla Yanes, please, can you read the comparisons with adjectives, with just and us? Uh, comparisons with adjectives. Adjectives, very good. Mm -hmm. houses, houses aren't as convenient as convenient. apartment. Convenient <laughs> as apartment. Very good. Next. Houses are just as convenient as apartments. Okay, very good. Here, guys, when you want to compare, when you want to compare, mmm, las casas no son tan convenientes como lo ve. Tan. Ese es tan y el otro as es como. Okay, if you want to have an idea in Spanish. Tan como, okay? So here you have as, adjective, plus as, okay? As, adjective, as. If you want to give more emphasis, just, as, adjective, plus as, okay? For example, uh, can you please, Eduardo, compare El Salvador versus Costa Rica? Compare. Quiero que use as, please. Uh, the, the, uh, our country, El Salvador, mm -hmm. is as... You can use it in negative. Isn't if you want to uh, say so, right? No es tan como bla 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 bla. Uh -huh. is, 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 isn't as uh, expensive as Costa Rica. Ah, okay, very good. El Salvador isn't as expensive as Costa Rica. That yeah, Costa means Rica is, that Costa Rica is too expensive, right? Too expensive, yeah. Too expensive, yes, it's true. It's true. With a salary of a Salvadorian, eh, no. 
<laughs> okay, no llegamos al 15, that's it. Okay, what about, uh, for example, uh, let me see, Carla Marroquín. Okay, okay. compare uh, Carla Marroquín, compare uh, one, one house with one apartment, please. Okay. Uh, houses. Mm -hmm. Or apartment, you start uh, with apartment. No problem, depends what you want to say. Okay. Apartments aren't, aren't as expensive mm -hmm. as houses. As houses, okay, very good. Apartments aren't as expensive as houses. That's it, that means the houses are more expensive, right? Okay, uh, yes. than apartments, that's it, very good. Uh, for example, if you want to say, mi casa no es tan grande como la tuya, le. okay? My house isn't as big as your house, okay? I am comparing, estoy diciendo que tu casa es más grande que la mía, right? My house isn't as big as your house, okay? That's it. Usemos el just, okay? Uh, my house is, um, isn't just as convenient as your house, or big in this case. Ahí, in the middle, guys, you have to use the adjective, okay? You don't have to forget that, okay? Y también el as here at the beginning and at the end, okay? And in the middle, we put here the adjective, okay? Then we have the same structure, right? But we are gonna use just as many. Los apartamentos tienen, okay, eh, tantos cuartos como las casas, right? Okay, so el mismo número de cuartos podemos traducirlo, right? Just as many rooms as houses. Or apartments don't have as much privacy as houses, okay? This is other example, okay, with nouns and with adjectives. Uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to share, okay, with you this one, for example, okay? Eduardo, can you please uh, read the, the five sentences with, in color purple? Okay, uh -huh. apartments. Are too small for pets. Okay, mira, Ap estoy usando el tube. Eh? Are too small for pets. Continue. Apartments aren't big enough for families. For families. Uh -huh. uh, number three, apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Mm -hmm. Number four. Uh, apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Expenses? Expense. Uh -huh. Expenses. Expenses as houses. as houses. Those are los gastos, okay? Los apartamentos tienen igual gastos que las casas, right? Have just expenses. as many expenses as houses. As And the number five. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Okay, very good. Okay, you see? Enough here plus parking spaces. This is a noun. Okay, a big is an adjective, and then we have enough. Carla Marroquín, can you please read the sentences from number six to ten? Okay, um, number six. Houses cost too much money. Okay, too much, right? This is cuando se trata de dinero, too much. Number seven. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Okay, number eight. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Very nice. Number nine. Houses don't have enough closet space. Space, very good. And the last one, number 10. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartment. As apartment, okay, very good. This is what we are gonna do right now, guys. There are 10 sentences. And what I want you to tell me, 
is uh, to classify, well, not to classify, but to tell me the sentences that are based on space, right? I want you to tell me the sentences that you consider are describing something related to space, okay? For example, the number one, Carla Yanes. What do you think about the number one? Is the sentence related to space? Habla acerca de, de los espacios or something between apartments and building houses. Uh -huh. What do you it, think? Yes or no? True. It's true. Yes, apartments are too small for pets. Yeah, for pets is, uh -huh, okay, very good. So it's related to space, right? Uh -huh. So you agree or disagree? I agree, dear. I agree. I agree. Uh -huh. Estoy de acuerdo. Very good. I agree. Very good. Apartments are too small for pets. I think that for pets, eh, if you want to have a pet, you should have a big house, not even a small house, a big house so the pet can have space for running, for having fun, etc. Number two, Claribel, read the number two. No, Claribel is not here. Eduardo, read the number two, please. Uh, yes, teacher. Oh, Claribel is there. Uh -huh, Claribel. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Okay. Read the number two. Apartment aren't fit enough for family. Uh-huh. What do you think? Do you agree or disagree? No. Disagree. I disagree. Okay. Apartments aren't big enough for family. There are apartments, guys. There are apartments that are very big. <laughs> okay. They are bigger than houses sometimes. Okay. Penthouses or etc. Okay. Uh, what do you think, Eduardo, for the number three? What is your opinion? It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. How many rooms do you consider a, 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 um, or do you think a, an apartment has? Rooms is a, a bedroom, bad, bedroom or, or... Rooms in uh, general, in general. Mm -hmm. Not only bedrooms. How many? I, I think the, the three bed, bath, bedroom and, mm -hmm. and the main, I, I don't know, is room. The, the, la sala. Uh -huh, the living room. The living room. Mm -hmm. But three, three or four is okay. Three or four, three right? Four. Uh -huh, okay. And sometimes the houses have more. They have garage. They have two yeah. bathrooms sometimes, or one bathroom and three bedrooms. Okay. Yes, the houses are much, much bigger. Okay. That's it. Let's see, uh, Carla Marroquín. Houses cost. Too much money. What do you think? Uh, I think it's true. It's true. How much do you think is a house in this time? How much? Mm -hmm. uh, On average. Uh, I don't know. I don't have a. Number. You don't have an idea. Okay. No. Yeah, but houses are uh, okay. They they cost too much money. Okay, but let me, let me, let me tell you that sometimes the difference is little, little difference. It's not big difference. Now houses are very expensive, very, very expensive. Okay, that's it. Uh, this is a uh, practical guys. Okay, what well, we have a K for, for today, the use of, okay, enough, the use of two, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, this is what I'm gonna send. In a second, okay, I'm going to send uh, this picture to the WhatsApp group. This is going to be your little homework assignment, okay? Here, we have sentences with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Es, eh, eh, y aparecen paréntesis las palabras not enough, two, 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 not enough. So what I want you to do is to make, okay, sentences. Y aquí les dejo dos those apartamentos, right? Two apartments, right? Spacious, modern house, smaller, older apartment. Three bedrooms, two bedrooms. One bathroom, one bathroom. Um, very private, 
near the subway, huh? so it's ruidoso, right? One parking space, two car garage, 1,500 per month, and this is 900 per month. So based on this information, you are going to uh, give me the sentences, okay? Uh, this is your homework assignment on Monday. We are going to check the sentences together, okay? Use enough, to, okay? Aquí no aparece as, as, okay? But you can do it that way. In the platform, there are extra exercises so you can practice them, okay? Remember, uh, you have to, okay? It's a, a mandatory that you have to do the section, uh, well, Ahorita tendríamos que ir con esta clase comenzando el section number three. If you can go on. So me preguntaba alguien una vez, teacher, so yo no me puedo adelantar si yo quiero. Bueno, si usted estudia solo con la plataforma, that's perfect, ¿ok? Remember the classes with me are to practice, ¿ok? Esta plataforma usted la puede ver cuantas veces quiera y si usted quiere ver la clase antes, Ok, la plataforma antes de mi clase, super, ok. The idea is to do it, empieza a ser también el midterm. A Carlita Yanes creo que por ahí está ya el midterm, ok. Um, uh -huh. the exam, yes. Para que ya lo empiece a hacer, para que así el último día no esté a la carrera llenando los ejercicios solo por hacerlos, ok. But the idea is to practice, ok. So hoy les presenté el to, enough, as, as. To give opinions about something. El tema es enfocado en apartments and houses, but not only houses and apartments, guys. You can do it con personas, animals, with things, with opinions about whatever you want, okay? Well, today is Friday, obviously, because yesterday we didn't have classes, but I will see you on Monday, okay? Next week we have classes first, guys, from Monday to Thursday. Do homework, okay? This is the first time, no, the second time that I assign homework to you, okay? The first time for Eduardo and the first time for uh, Carla Marroquín. Vamos a ver si lo hace. <laughs> okay. okay. And on Monday, okay. we're going to check the answers, okay? okay? I will see you guys on Monday. Have a beautiful weekend. Need a lot of pupusas. Remember, weekend is for pupusas, okay? That's it. Okay. Thank you for being here. Okay? Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Good afternoon. Bye, Jose. Bye. 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 B